what's up youtube hitting y'all up in another video you know what time it is blades of brim time let me get my shoes on off here okay so i can get comfortable <clears throat> let's get this going i tell you what guys i am ready for my day off oh, look what we got there cool Alrighty, it's some gameplay. Now with my obsession with Temple Run, I've been playing this game a whole lot less. But no worries though, this game, I'm still good at. Like, I still play it, I try to at least play at least one game a day. Like it doesn't have to be a serious game, but just to keep me, to keep my memory going with it. Alrighty. So is anyone excited for the holidays? Oh, frick. Well, if you are, I hope you have wonderful holidays. Wonderful Christmas, wonder whatever the heck you celebrate. And enjoy your holidays and enjoy your time with your family. Because you never know when you might lose someone. Um, now... Here recently on YouTube, there has been a death, um, Angry Grandpa, and you know, that was a very sad, sad, sad day, um, because you know, Angry Grandpa is actually, oh man, he, he was there when my house burned down, and you see, in 2000, 2015, um, our house burned down, and I was so depressed. Now, this was when I would watch uh, Shea Carl and stuff. Um, Shea Carl and stuff, but it wasn't doing it for me because, you know, I watched it to keep up with the family. And, um, you know, it wasn't doing anything for me. Like, you know, Shea Carl's just Shea Carl. It didn't really make me laugh. It was more, you know, you just felt like a part of the family. But um, what I needed in that time when my house burned down was um was my was laughter i needed to laugh and um i i did in the past i um before the house burned down i did go through a phase where i watched um angry grandpa and michael and bridget and then it just kind of went away when i got obsessed with like charles trippy and shay carl i followed them for a long time but for some reason when the fire happened um, I went back to Angry Grandpa, and, um, man, I remember being in the hotel room, because we stayed in the hotel for about two weeks before we got a rental, and I tell you, staying in that rental room, I mean, staying in that hotel room by yourself was depressing, and, you know, I mean, I was doing the whole works trying to get, like, some kind of emotional support. I'm talking about like dating sites, all this stuff. I was just trying to find comfort somewhere, and um, nothing was working out. And um, but um, yeah, I, I remembered a video of Angry Grandpa and Michael that uh, made me laugh. And it the one the specific video that would always make me laugh was the Coke in the Mentos when uh <laughs> when uh. Michael tells him to put the Mentos in the Coke and to look over it. And his reaction just cracked me up. I remember watching that video so many times in that hotel room. And then next thing you know, I was watching Kid Behind a Camera and, you know, just watching Angry Grandpa. And just and I've been with them ever since, ever since that fire. I've been devoted and watching their videos. I still watch their videos today. Even though it's it's a lot of bum, it's a lot of depressing stuff. But hey, we all go through depressing times. And you know, Michael and Angry Grandpa was there for mine. Well, gosh darn it, you know I'm gonna be there for theirs. You know, let them grieve, man. You know, I see some people in the comments talking about how he needs to stop posting depressing videos. Man, his dad just died. You guys, I couldn't believe I I could believe reading them. People like people are just so selfish me 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 
You know, you do you. But yeah, when the house burned down, that was a very, very dark, depressing time for me. And um, Angry Grandpa made my day. And I watched him every day when I would come home from work, go to that depressing hotel. I would look forward to seeing Angry Grandpa every day because I knew I was going to laugh. And that's what helped me shine bright during my darkest times was um, Angry Grandpa. Rest in peace, Angry Grandpa. Um, you know, you really touched me and you touched millions of others because you were just a hilarious dude. And, you know, I even got my grandma into watching Angry Grandpa. And uh, she watches them. She watched them with me too every single day. That was our routine. This was after the fire when we got our house rebuilt and stuff. They were there with me for the fire, so you know I was there for them every single day. I was always wanting to know when's Michael going to Grandpa's house. When's Michael going to Grandpa's house? And I would wait and wait and wait for them to go to Grandpa's house. But yeah, um, watching that Angry Grandpa tribute video was freaking sad. Oh man, I bawled so bad. Because everything that was in that tribute, you know, I was there, man. I was there. Angry Grandpa was an amazing person. Um, you know, rest in peace. Um, now, um... And you know what? I'm not leaving just because just cause Angry Grandpa's gone. Angry Grandpa specifically told Michael not to stop what he's been doing. So you know what? I'm still here. I'm still watching his videos. Me and my grandma both, we're still here watching the videos. Because you know what? Angry Grandpa would want that. And he was there for me during my darkest times. Michael was there for me during my darkest times. I'm going to be there for their darkest times. And I'm going to watch them succeed with what they got to succeed with. You know what I mean? But yeah. Blades of Brim. I really love this game, but man, I'm so addicted to Temple Run. And then, like, my grandmother told me today, she said, Yeah, I really like watching that Temple Run game because she likes watching the videos and seeing what I'm up to. Because, um, she, she watches Marco a lot. And, um, she likes to see what we're doing. She says the Temple Run game is just full of energy and she feels like she's running with us and everything. I'm just rambling and I'm sucking. I'm su I'm horrible at this game. Oh my gosh. Did I get I didn't unlock him? I'm never gonna beat that score. Alright, let's give it a serious go around instead of just casually playing. Okay. Yeah, I got a lot of gold on this game. There's, I don't think there's much you can do with gold. I don't know, I'll look at it after this. Oof. Lots of gold. Give me the gold. I want the gold. Doing the Sonic roll. Yeah, and you know what I'm going to play after this? Probably some Temple Run 2. I love that game. I just love how user friendly it is. Oh frick, almost got slashed there. Smashed. Yeah, I'm looking forward to my day off. Every day off I go out to eat. Last day off I went to IHOP and it was good. I got an egg white omelet, three pancakes for 10 bucks. 
You can't beat that. Whoa, how did I not get hit there? Dang it. I don't know what I'm going to do on this day off, but I know I'm going to go reward myself because I deserve it. Yesterday, I uh, kind of slept in the Walmart parking lot because my friend that I'm staying with, well, not, I sleep on the couch. Like, I don't live there. I'm living outside of my car. I just go there to sleep. The door was locked. So I, I had to go sleep in the Walmart parking lot. And that's not the first time I slept in the Walmart parking lot. I tell you, though, if you're homeless, man... Walmart parking lots are the way to go. No one bothers you. Walmart don't care. You know, I look at it like this. Um, you park outside of a Walmart. They're 24 hours. They got a bathroom. You need something to eat. They're your refrigerator, too. They're your refrigerator. They got food everywhere in there if you get hungry. It's like the perfect spot. And now, Walmart are starting to get Wi-Fi course you have to be inside to use it I want to just stay in my car that's kind of why I just drive around to go get Wi-Fi but man I'm so excited about getting an apartment like I'm very excited about that one step to independence one step to independence And I want to do good this round. I'm so far. I'm doing pretty good. Not today, Mr. Big Dude. I like that Sonic roll. Dude, they should put like Sonic in here. That'd be pretty funny. Then you can really do the sonic tumble. Ooh. Oh, I'm stupid. Okay, I can't. St oh, whoa. So close. And I'm doing so good. Oh, oh, fire! Oh, God, there's a cop right over here. I gotta be quiet. Yeah, there's a cop. He parks over here by the grocery store every day. Every day. Except last night he wasn't there. Let's see what time is it? 13 minutes. Gosh darn, I gotta get going, guys. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the story time. I know the gameplay was kind of kind of dumb, you know, I wasn't doing too good, kind of slacking, it was a rough day at work today, oh, I can't wait for my day off, but anyway guys, I want to tell uh, Marco, love you buddy, these videos for you, and everyone else, peace, see you next time.